Hey people, welcome back. Today, as I said last video, we're going to be doing a few tool tests, tool reviews. So in today's video, we're going to be talking and looking at torque wrenches. What are they? Why should you have one? How do you use one? That's what I'm talking about. Different sizes, torque wrenches. Let's get into it. Welcome back. Welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about torque wrenches. I've got a couple on the bench for you to see different types. Uh, first question, what are they? Basically a torque wrench is a socket wrench. But the difference is this allows you to set this wrench to stop at a certain amount of pressure on the nut or the bolt which you're tightening. Now all cars, all motorbikes, they have bolts that need to be tightened to a certain torque setting. If you over tighten a nut or a bolt, you may go past its shear point and it'll snap. So torquing the nuts and bolts on your bike to the correct torque is safe as well as doing the job properly. So I'll drop you down onto the bench. We'll have a look at the, the two that I've got. And then we'll go a little bit more into depth on their use, how to use them. Okay, come on. Okay, at the bench. So this is the first of the two torque wrenches that I have. It's a small little stubby torque wrench and it's a 3 8 drive. It'll only fit 3 8 sockets unless I use an adapter. The make is Rollcraft. Again, I'm not advertising for any of these manufacturers, these are tools that I bought out of my own money. It's a 3 8 drive, and if we look, it'll go from 0 to 80 foot pounds. Now, I'll explain differences between foot pounds and newton meters once we start using the actual torque wrench. So, that's the first torque wrench that I bought. Then, I found that I needed to go higher than the 80 foot pounds, so I then purchased. A larger torque wrench. Now this one is a half inch drive. It's a power fix and this one ranges, this is in newton meters so it goes from 28 newton meters to 210. Again I'll, I'll explain all that once we get going. If I open it up as well because this one actually comes with an extension bar there and also a reducer that I can take put on the end and I can reduce this down to 3 8 so if I've only got a 3 8 socket set I can still use the larger tool on that okay right I'm going to drop you over to the manual and then we'll continue from there Right, I'm going to be just using as an example now the current bike that I'm working on, which is Dunk Dunk over there, which is the CB. So I'm going to use the manual from that just as an example. So first thing I would say, if you've got a motorbike, buy a manual. If you've got a car, buy a manual. Different makes out there, you pick which one you want, but basically you want an instruction manual inside in the list of contents you'll find where it says torque values and what that will list it'll list all the nuts and bolts on your car or your bike what we do for this example we we'll just concentrate that we're using it on a bike so this will give you all your tech set, all your torque settings that you need for the bike. For example, spark plug. If I wanted to put the correct torque onto my spark plugs, I would go across. It's showing me that I got two spark plugs, and it's telling me that I need 1.5 to 2 newton meters, or 11 to 14 foot pounds. Now this is why I said you may have two readings in the book 
but your torque wrench will come with dual settings. I'll show you that once we get going. So I've picked a bolt just to use a, as an example. And the bolt I'm going to use as an example is the footrest carrier bolt. Now according to the, the manual, this will tell me that I'm going to use foot pounds. That's the one I prefer to use. So the book is telling me the range is between 33 and 47 foot pounds. Now no book will give you an exact. No book will tell you it's got to have 50. They'll always give you a range to work between. So this one is 33 to 47. So I'm going to go somewhere in the middle of those numbers and I'm going to set my torque at 40. Right, I'll put you back on the tripod and show you setting the torque wrench and then we can have a look at it in use, okay? Okay, bear with me, so I'm trying to do this behind the camera as well. So, what you'll find, you have two scales on your torque wrench. One will be in newton meters or kilograms. The other one will designate foot pounds. So as I'm going to work in foot pounds on this one, this is the settings that I'm going to be using. Now we looked at our book and we've averaged that we've got to be around the 40 foot pounds. But what I like to do is set my torque wrench a couple of pounds down from the highest number first. And the way you do that, on most torque wrenches, on the bottom, you'll have a little knurled piece that's to lock the tor torque wrench off. So all you do is you undo that, just a turn or so, and that will allow you to spin the handle. So the handle is where you wind up and down until you find your designated foot pounds. Now for us, I'm going to set it first at 35. So you look on your scale, Come right down on this one. 25 is there. So that's 25. That's another 10. So that's 30. 12, 14, 35 Newton, sorry, foot pounds. Then tighten your bottom lock so the handle can't turn so the only next thing you've got to do now is put a socket on the end the size of the bolt that you need to tighten and we're ready to go okay right excuse my weird camera angle but it's the best view i can get for you so the bolt we're going to be tightening is that footrest carrier bolt there now we know we've got to finish that bolt at 40 foot-pounds. So I've set my torque wrench to 35 foot-pounds to start with. I've got the extension bar on and my adapter because I'm using a 3 8 socket. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten that nut slowly until the head of the socket torque wrench clicks. I'll show you what I mean. To make sure you're going forward or reverse you've got a little toggle on the back the same as a, a socket wrench. So I'm set to tighten. So I'm just going to keep tightening our bolt until it almost feels like the handle is going to break. Can you hear that? Now the handle has given a little jolt and it's clicked. So that's telling me that that bolt is set to 35 foot-pounds. Now that's all you do is you slacken off your bottom bolt. You go back to your scale and you drop it down to 40 foot-pounds 
I will be specific to your bike. I'll do this one while I'm talking to you. So we're looking for 40 foot pounds or just over there. And you do exactly the same again. You tighten, try not to grip the torque wrench around the neck because it's the neck on the torque wrench there that actually jolts and clicks. So either hold the head or the actual stem. So again, you tighten until you have that click there. Do it once more to make sure there. If you keep pressing, you will tighten the bolt more. That's what you've got to be careful of. Once you've reached that click, don't put any more pressure on the socket and keep tightening. That's telling me that that bolt has been set to 40 stroke 42 foot pounds. So that bolt is the right torque. Okay. I'll put you back on tripod and we'll have a quick little chat and that's it. So there you go. That's a quick demonstration and a basic understanding of a torque wrench. Not all torque wrenches will have a bottom nut to tighten up. The shorter one of my set doesn't have that bolt. So I've got to be careful that when I'm using this that I don't grip and turn that handle and alter the setting. So just be careful if it, your torque wrench doesn't come with a knurled lock bolt on the bottom. Again, it's up to you whether you go between those two figures in your manual. Like mine was 33 to 47. I think 40 to 42 foot pounds was even enough in the middle to be safe either way. I could have gone with the 33, the lower of the two, but I could have gone with the 47, but I was happy in the middle. So that's basically what a torque wrench is, why you need to use one, and why you should have one in your toolbox. They're an investment, they're not cheap. You can get digital versions, which actually will beep at you when you reach the torque set in. So you can pay a few pounds or you can pay stupid pounds. It's up to you. But personally, I would say it's a must in any toolbox. If you're gonna be working on your bikes yourself, even just basic things like checking the bolts, because bikes, especially bolts vibrate loose. They shouldn't, but they do. So your choice. Me personally, I'll always keep at least one torque wrench in my toolkit so I can use safely on the bike. I know those bolts are done to spec. So I hope this have helped. Any questions, any comments, please drop them below. Like, share, and most importantly, if you think you like the channel, please subscribe. I'm only doing this to try and save us bikers some pounds, some wonga, by looking after our bikes ourselves. If you're a car owner, the same applies. Torque wrench, even just your basic wheel nuts need to be torque wrenched. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.